It's so nice to see you. Well, some of you, to see some of your faces. I see people here I already know and I already spoke with. So it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, well, today what we're going to do is, hi, Annick. Hi, Juan Pablo. <laughs> Hello. I'm very happy to Hi, Anastasia. Hello. <laughs> Uh, so what we are going to do today is to uh, make a short overview of the online MIAM, okay, Master in International Business Management online format. So uh, those of you who are still have some questions, uh, some doubts, feel free please to ask us. You can interrupt us and we will be happy to answer to all of your questions, okay? I'm happy today to be with uh, my colleague, Gemma, Gemma Serrano. She's Hello, the everybody. Of... <laughs> Hi, Gemma. She's the, the director of admission. Okay, she's a colleague of mine. And uh, we also have a pleasure to have uh, Zlotlo. She's one of our students. <laughs> You're on mute. Okay. Hi, Zlotlo. <laughs> So uh, she's one of the online Hello, students, and today uh, she will be sharing her insights um, regarding the program, and she also may uh, help you to solve some doubts and some questions. Okay, thank you very much, Lotlo, to uh, to connecting. Okay, so uh, why ISA? Yes, that's the question. So uh, ISAM, we are the International School of Agribusiness Management, okay, and we are 100% focused on agribusiness, okay, and uh, the place where we located is in Almeria in Spain, that's, you know, the, one of the biggest agricultural hubs in Europe and also in the world, uh, so we are in the right place, and we know what we are talking about, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> So this uh, MBA is very flexible, okay, it's online format. So this MBA gives you the opportunity to focus on your career, okay, because it allows to combine your professional life, okay, your family life, and also your studies, okay. Um, so uh, you will be learning from the experts, okay, because uh, our teachers are leading experts, leading employees in companies related to agribusiness, okay? So what does it mean? This means that you will be getting very practical learning, something which is updated, the knowledge that's happening, something that is happening right now in the companies, okay? So that is why it's very practical, okay? And of course, you will be uh, growing your global network in the agro sector, okay? Because you will be in contact, as I said, with the experts, with the, uh, with the teachers, but also with people like you who are in agribusiness sector, okay? <laughs> so, uh, what our students have in common? Uh, first of all, that let me explain a little bit about the uh, average profile, okay, because uh, many different profiles are contacting us, requesting the information, okay, but uh, students who enroll in this online program, usually they have some previous working experience, okay, usually it's like over nine years, but we also have students who have one year or none, professional previous experience. Some of them, as you may see, have like the average years of working experience, like nine. But we also have some seniors who count uh, with uh, 15 or even 20 years of professional experience, okay? So our students are business owners and directors, entrepreneurs, a uh, lot of them are technical engineers. Engineers, they come from more technical background as agriculture engineering. Okay. Others are quality technicians, managers, of sales, marketing. Okay. People coming from uh, computer science. So, as you may see nowadays, agribusiness involves professionals from many different backgrounds, all working together in agribusiness companies. So there is like a place for everybody, 
and everybody can emerge in the agribusiness. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you, Anastasia, for, uh, for doing this uh, introduction. I would like to ask uh, our current student, Trotrolo, if she can give us a, a little bit of feedback profile uh, and maybe share some of the profiles of her uh, um, colleagues, uh, the people who are studying the master with her. Um, hello, everybody. Um, okay, with the colleagues, with my colleagues, uh, we, we are different. Some of us um, are business owners. Um, most of them work within the agri space. Um, tech, you know, consultants within the agricultural sector. We have one guy who's a farmer also. So we do have, we are within, I could say within the value chain of the agricultural space um, with different um, roles to play. So uh, with me, I'm a business owner. I own an agribusiness company. We do livestock feeds. So with my colleagues, some of them are consultants consultants within the agribusiness space and we've got to realize that some of the companies of the professors they've even interacted with them within their countries and all that stuff so most of us are within the agricultural space and working in different uh, areas. Thank you Tlodro. For the next uh, intake that is starting on the 23rd of uh, November uh, next week, we have uh, very various uh, profiles. So as uh, you mentioned, there are some um, professionals who are business owners in different countries around the world. Then we have, uh, we have, I think, a recent graduate who is doing an internship in a big company in Saudi Arabia. Uh, then we have people with three to five years of work experience, like mid-management. And obviously, then we have people with uh, uh, very strong technical profiles who are uh, looking to get into um, high management, direction of companies, and so on. And they feel that they are lacking maybe some business skills um, to keep going inside their, uh, their career. Yeah. If you have uh, any questions, any of you, please uh, feel free to, to unmute yourself and, and make some comments or questions. Okay, let's keep going. Anastasia? Yeah. Okay, so uh, next slide is, let me just, sorry, one second. Okay, so uh, next slide. I'm sorry. So okay, for the I'm, yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a bit lost in my on my screen. On so your screen, up, please help me. Uh, I can help you uh, describing a little bit uh, what they are going to see inside uh -huh. the master. Um, so as we mentioned, it's going to be very flexible. Uh, basically, this program is designed for professionals inactive. So the idea, idea is like that you can work and study at the same time and still like uh, uh, look after your family and do the, the normal things that you usually do. Um, so the classes are going to be recorded. Uh, they are being recorded right now. So Tlotlo her program, uh, they started in uh, June. Uh, so those are the, the classes that you're going to be seeing recorded in this uh, November intake. Uh, in terms of uh, practicality, you will have different actions. Uh, so you will, with every module, you will have a series of individual assignments with a uh, um, submission date. And also if you cannot meet that deadline, uh, they usually give you another couple of weeks because we understand that you are a uh, busy professionals who are traveling and who have many projects in your own uh, job. And we try to be flexible in this term. Then uh, we aim uh, that our students do three to four group assignments. So you have the possibility to work with every individual that is studying the master with you. So at the end, you will have the chance to work with people that are based in Nigeria, in South Africa, in US, Colombia, Mexico, and so on. So it is very important that you interact with those professionals and understand how is the economical and, and especially the agricultural system in different parts of the planet. All right. And then at the end, you have like the big uh, end of the year um, uh, project, let's say, where you usually do like a consulting project for a real company. Although it is possible if uh, any of you have a company who is developing like a new department, new product, new like uh, export strategy and so on, it is also possible to focus on your own company um, if you, you prefer to do that. 
question, right? Anastasia, did you find a... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay, if you want to tell us a little bit about uh, the different uh, modules and courses. Yeah, of course. And uh, I also wanted to add about the flexibility and also about our online pl platform we use because sometimes people ask me, uh, they say, well, I'm on a business travel or I'm in the middle of the farm. I do not have a laptop with me. OK, so uh, the biggest advantage of this program as well is the technology we use. So this online platform, you can use it uh, from your smartphone. So this, allow, this allows you to be somewhere else, even uh, on the field, and you uh, can uh, connect, uh, watch the classes, and interact also with your classmates and also with the academic department, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's, I think, for me, this is one of the biggest advantages, okay? Uh, so ask about the content of the program. Uh, uh, let's start with that uh, ISAM, at ISAM we have four pillars, okay? Those are innovation, technology, so-called soft skills, those are leadership skills, very important nowadays, and also uh, the sustainability, okay? How to solve the challenges in agri world uh, right now, okay? So the content, as we said, there are 10 modules, okay? With each module, we try to give you very practical knowledge of all the subsectors involved in the agribusiness company. So starting from the first module is about accounting and finances, okay? Because as we said before, some people come from more technical backgrounds, some of them are more experts in the business. So in this uh, course, you will complement your uh your knowledge with uh, all these uh, modules so the next uh, module is about leadership skills and career development okay so nowadays it's more everything is more about attitudes okay so uh at isam will teach you how to be a good leader how to communicate efficiently uh, not only with maybe foreign partners but inside the company okay the next one is the strategy in agribusiness companies, very important as well, okay? Uh, module number four is about sustainability challenges and solutions. Uh, the next one is about agri-world. We call it, um, you will have some different courses inside these modules, such as horticulture, aquaculture, animal husbandry, and also you will study the different models for agribusiness management. Here in Almeria, we have Almeria's model, but there is also a model of uh, Netherlands, also Israel, okay? So we try to compare as well and establish, you know, differences and the advantages of each model, of each model okay? Next one is marketing and sales. Of course, if you want to start your own business, you will need to know also about this. Uh, the next one is the operations, okay? The whole supply chain, okay? The next one is, we call smart agro and technology. Topics such as digitalization, corporate software selection, introduction to technology and digitalization. Those are the main topics of this module, okay? Uh, number nine is about innovation and entrepreneurship, okay, with a strong uh, focus on product development, design thinking, and entrepreneurship. Okay, and the last one would be the final project that Gemma mentioned before. That uh, I think that good a big advantage you can collaborate with other professionals from other companies. We have students from really big companies, so that could help, you know, uh, some younger students to, you know, that, uh, to get that uh, insight as well from uh, employees from important companies as well. Okay. Maybe, Drodro, you want to um, add something here, especially maybe about the, the group jobs, because the feedback that we get from students when they finish is like, 
what is uh, what they like the most uh, is a uh, group work uh, what is <laughs> they like the least group work <laughs> So it's uh, they love the interaction with other students, but at the same time, it's uh, tough sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, was um interesting because you get to um, get views from different people and get ideas on how we can solve um the problem. One good part or interesting part about the course is that it's very practical. Um, it's not theory based. So the content and um, whatever the professors are teaching you, it's something that you can apply in your business. So, and you are being given like, for example, when it comes to accounting and finance, you get to review uh, a, a, an agribusiness company uh, that exists, that is there, you know, review its different, um, you know, looks, financial statements from the company and all that stuff. So it makes it easy to apply certain information to your business or even to your um, career as maybe a person who's into the agribusiness space. So that's really uh, good about the content. And even roping other students to do the group work, it makes it more easier and understandable. So if you didn't get the information well in class, um, one thing we have done, we've created our own WhatsApp group. Um, wherever we have a question or something is going on, we can chat through WhatsApp or discuss through WhatsApp. Um, there's a platform that was mentioned that also you can even share and contact your professor canvas, that you can contact your professors if there are any uh, disagreements, even if when you feel like um, my time for the test is late, you can even ask for extension from the professors through the platform. So it's flexible at that point and having that um, accessibility or app that you can communicate easily with your professors and other students, it's made easy. Um, we recently did two modules, sustainability and also strategy. The content you're getting, it's content. I've had the chance to even look at my business at a different eyes view and even redesign the strategy because I got to learn how big companies are making it and developing their strategies. What is going on in the global space in terms of agriculture? You know, you're getting insight of what's going on globally in terms of the agri space, what big companies are doing in the agri space. How can you implement that in your business? How can you develop strategies? We have issues of climate change, issues of food security. How can we mitigate that? It's not just given just challenges, those are the challenges, those are the, but you also get to even see the solutions that are there when it comes to food security, when it comes to climate change. Um, so really, if you're a person within the agri space, as, as a career person, as a leader in the agri space, so this is a cost for you to see what solutions are there, see what other companies are there. You get insight, a lot of insight from these people, from the professors. Um, you also get insight on how you can apply, how can you can apply certain strategies when it comes to sustainability and even the solutions that are out there that we can do. So, and you have a, a group of networks. So those professors, you can connect them, you can connect with them at a personal level, also through LinkedIn. They're very flexible, they're very open, you know, they share ideas and they're very open even to advising you in everything. And one interesting part, even in class, there was one time where the professor went into the, when we were doing the leadership um, module, he went into our profiles on LinkedIn, tried to say, you can improve on this. You know, it mm -hmm. gets that practical. If the professor can even get into what you're doing and even review it. So that's how practical it is and very insightful. Uh, I would say don't expect to expect theory, theory, theory. Expect also to see practical. We do discuss through classes and discuss with our professors. So that's one of the most interesting part for me that has kept me into the classes.
Yeah. Thank you, Drodro. I think that's uh, that's very good information. Uh, I also wanted to take advantage because you mentioned uh, sustainability again. So for us, this is uh, one major subject, and obviously it's uh, it's happening globally that we need to adapt to to a new direction. Um, so for sustainability, I believe that you have done classes already with Roberto Vega from Syngenta. He's the global head of sustainability in this big company that is Syngenta, and he's like very um uh, how can i say like he needs to understand that the students is understanding all the theory and all the practicality so for example in programs where the class is not live with him uh, he gives uh, the student time to check like everything that is recorded but he specifically asked that his tutorial with the student is mandatory <laughs> <laughs> so for every module, we will have uh, tutorials with uh, uh, the directors of, uh, of the modules. And in the case of Roberto Vega with sustainability, it's uh, most probably going to be mandatory. So even if the program is very flexible, there are some professors who are like more demanding than others. And we really appreciate that because that makes uh, the student work harder. That's why um, they are doing an MBA, right? Uh, so this is uh, something that I think is worth mentioning. And also because of uh, everything that involves sustainability, as you can see, it goes through the whole program. And also right now we have Flavio Alzueta, who is uh, now on the board of a uh, global board of uh, Global Gap. Um, he's reviewing all the information about the sustainability uh, module and, and the whole program and introducing some new things. So for example, thanks to him, we introduced something called um, sustainable marketing, which is a subject that started like to one two years ago it wasn't even a thing uh before that so we we have this subject almost from the beginning of ISAM, and uh yes like every year we are getting like some new things uh, added into the program thanks to to these kind of profiles i keep going i think now is the time to talk about the professors. <laughs> so now that I have that I keep going. Uh, those are some of the examples of the people that uh, is going to be teaching you. So what we'd like to do at ISAM, uh, I call it the, the match, no? Uh, so wherever our professors are expert on their day-to-day, -day, on their companies, this is the subject that they are teaching to our students. So for example, Isabel Cayuela, she's the director of marketing Europe for BASF. So obviously she's in charge of the marketing module. Uh, then we have, as we mentioned, Roberto Vega, who is a head of sustainability for Syngenta. Um, Jorge Martinez, he's a former Kimitech. Um, we have done several classes with him. Um, I love him personally, how he's teaching and, and his style. Uh, so his classes are very, very interactive. He will tell you in class, like what kind of strategies they are using in Kimitech to still market from a, a big company like Bayer, uh, how some of their products uh, are having a bigger market than some of their older competitors. And uh, like all of these professors, what they are doing is just like saying, how is their day to day in their companies, asking the students, what are they doing in their companies? And at the end, Toldoro can, can verify. Um, the class is very interactive. So it's not only the, the professor talking one way, it's a lot of interaction and understanding how different strategies or systems are working in different parts of the world. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, Toldoro? Yeah, um, so the professors um, are very keen on the interaction, one, and two, one thing they incorporate is case studies, um, like, for example, Professor Roberto um, included case studies, we had to read case studies of a different company pertaining a topic and maybe it might be sustainability or might be a possible solution that we're looking for. We had um, a case study we had to read about um, the food wastage. Um, how can we combat that? What are the solutions that we can come with that? So we had a company that did something when it came to food wastage. We had to read it and discuss it as a class, as a group. Firstly, as a group, um, then we had to view give our point outs the lecture gave us point outs and questions that we have to address so um interaction is I, I think that's the best way to learn you know reading and discussing information and getting practical and understanding it it's quite key and um 
even during class, um, asking questions, getting to understand the content that you're learning, because the most important is you want to get as much as information you want to get, and you want to get out as much as you can, because you're getting insight from somebody who's having won the experience, having done the research, um, and done a lot in the last years, and sees things at, at the bedside the, at a larger level. So getting much insight and asking questions and discussing opens up your mind and opens up to possibilities that you might apply to your business, to your career, or to your path um, as an agri person in your agri space, um, uh, you know, journey. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. Lo, lo. I forgot to mention also the case of uh, Rafael Ferrer. He started the, the master program and I think he's graduating now or graduated like a few months uh, ago. And while being at the master, he um, he stand out uh, as a student and then he's uh, uh, managing the different parts of uh, innovation in, a, in an innovative uh, company that is Ispatec. They do technology for the agricultural sector. So uh, we introduced him also as a professor for uh, for the master. So at the end, there is like a, what we call the ISAM ecosystem. Um, that is like a very round process where companies send us um, their different professionals to be our uh, professors also to study with us and obviously also hiring our uh, graduates. So so there is like a very nice round system with the companies surrounding our campus. And that's also the reason because we are based in Almeria, because uh, where we are, there are more than four, 500 companies related to the agricultural sector. And it's what make easier for us uh, as an institution to have a better and closer contact with different companies. Okay, I keep going. Anastasia. <laughs> yeah, uh, as Jenna was saying, um, our students come from many different countries. Okay, here you have uh, the last intake uh, students. Okay, uh, for this intake starting in November, we have students from countries uh, such as some African countries, uh, such as Zambia, Nigeria, Kenya. Zambia. Okay, we also have some participants from Latin America, Mexico, Colombia. Okay, and uh, in this edition, we're gonna have students uh, from Saudi uh, Arabia, students from a company called Neom. I think some of you maybe heard about it because now this is like a huge project uh, on uh, a smart city. Okay, so. Uh, I think they're gonna build the, the city called the line. Okay, so this is like biggest uh, project. Even one of our former students of a uh, face-to-face program, now he's a part of the company. Okay, so we'll be counting uh, on their presence, on the, the presence of their employees, uh, the employees from Neom, okay? Uh, so we also have students from India, okay, some students from European countries, okay, and um, we also have some collaborations with the universities such as uh, Zamorano, Earth University, okay, with companies, for example, as Neon or JAD or Bayer. Okay, you also uh, can see uh, on the slide that uh, we collaborate with those companies, Copert, Agroponiente, Sacata, Walmart, Kimitech, uh, Coexpal, JAD, Ispatec. Okay, so we have like huge network for agribusiness. I wanted to mention also that uh, we have students who are based somewhere else in the world, but they are originally from uh, US and Japan. So this uh, this coming group, it's uh, the previous one was very international, but this one is uh, a little bit mind blowing <laughs> with all these different profiles. Uh, there are still, I think it's three seats available, if I don't remember, uh, Gron. Um, so again, we are starting the program on the 23rd of, uh, of November, next Thursday. Um, now I take advantage and I tell you this. Um, 
Uh, so the, on the 23rd of November, what we are doing is the, the induction day. It will be probably like around one hour. The academic team um, will send a link to connect to all the, the students who have confirmed their seats by this day. And uh, during this presentation, it will be like describing how the online platform works, uh, sharing the agenda for the year and letting you know how the program works and also introducing everybody. So it's the time that every student uh, present themselves, speak a little bit about their profile, and uh, kind of uh, break the ice for the rest of the year. Um, uh, ah, I also wanted to mention here, I think I was talking to someone before uh, from Zamorano. Um, so for the uh, some of the partnership that we have, for example, for Zamorano, there are some discounts uh, for the students coming from there. Uh, we are working very closely to get a, a, like a closer relationship with Earth University. JAD is a, a Junta Dominicana, um, it's a from uh, Republic of the Dominican Republic, sorry. So they are our partners there and they represent ISAM uh, and they bring like every year many students from, uh, from that area. And in terms of companies, as uh, we mentioned before, those companies or uh, send professors or students or hire our people or uh, some with some of those companies, we are also doing like uh, mini challenges, uh, wow. final group projects and, and all that. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, Toldo, if uh, you want to tell us a little bit more about your uh, your classmates, um, like the, the nationalities, their jobs. <laughs> okay, um, my classmates um, come from, I think with our cohort, most of us are Africans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> most of us are from Africa. Um, but we have one student, I think, um, who's from America. Lebanon. Yeah, Lebanon. Um, so most of us, um, and he's a, a business owner within the agribusiness space. So most of us have come from Africa. Um, one is a consultant within the agribusiness space, helping small scale farmers to evolve and um, trying to help them improve their production. The other one is an IT expertise expert um, who's trying to develop solutions um, based on the agricultural space solutions um, using IT to small scale farmers in Rwanda. Um, we have also um, one from Botswana. She works for Syngenta in Botswana. Um, so they have a program where also they help small scale farmers uh, improve their productions with the variety of seeds and they do have a consultation uh, program more like a mentorship program with farmers um, so yeah then there's me also like I, I said I run an agribusiness company we do livestock feeds um, we also help uh, small scale farmers improve their production to a commercial level so most of us and we have one who works in the Ministry of Agriculture with, <laughs> yeah, she wants also to be a Minister of Agriculture one day. So we have people who are fully within the agri space, um, working with government, whether it's government or private sector, NGOs, um, you know, people in the tech space. So in mm -hmm. also the good part is interaction with other people because you're opening up yourself to the different networks. Um, possibly you could visit that country, see how you guys can work and collaborate, uh, bring solutions together. Um, so this is a, a huge platform. Instead of like, apart from your lectures, you have each other as students interacting and seeing how you can work together. Exactly. Also, there is a, a lot of movement in terms of uh, positions, companies, and so on. Most of our students for the online program, they come with a job. Uh, so what they are looking for is if they are business owners to take their company to the next level. Uh, if they are in a big company, uh, they are looking for one, like to keep growing inside that company. But we have, for example, the case of uh, Chris. He was doing an internship. He's uh, uh, growing within his company. The company is uh, sending him to, to do different trips and, and work abroad. I don't remember. David was working with Avocado. Is he still doing that or did he change? 
No, he's still doing that. Awesome. It was like a, also a huge company with different uh, like fields in, in different countries, if I'm not mistaken, right? By also exporting to um, the European countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. And then Guy, he has like a huge business between South Africa and three, four more countries. Yeah, yeah. And they're even harvesting wheat. They export, I think they do milk, um, wheat and other crops. So they export also to other European countries mm -hmm. from South Africa. Yeah. yeah, similar profile, uh, but uh, more experienced guy is like kind of recent graduate, although he has like a, a lot of between his hands. Uh, Charles, he he does something very similar, uh, a bigger scale also from Lebanon and some countries in Africa. So at the end, there is uh, like a lot of bridges between different countries. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. All right, Anastasia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one is very interesting slide because uh, it's about the training trip, the short study trip. ISAM organizes every year, okay, we call it Almeria model, okay. It's a short study trip, uh, the duration is four days, but it's like really, really intensive program, okay. Uh, it's like starting at eight, uh, at eight uh, in the morning and uh, finishing at the 9 uh, p.m. So it's very intense, but uh, the idea is to be very productive, to visit uh, lots of companies, to do some classes inside the companies, and of course, uh, you know, to interact with the local uh, personalities. Okay, because you will be, for example, you in case you decide to join us in this trip, you will be uh, sharing the table with uh, during the lunch, for example, with um, uh, local personalities of uh, agribusiness. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned before, one of the modules uh, is about uh, you know the Almeria model and some other module mo models of agribusiness management. But in this study trip, we focus on Almeria's model, okay? And again, as with the MBA, we try to give the 360 degree vision on the agribusiness company, okay? So uh, uh, next year in 2023, it's gonna take place in February, okay? From 13th until 16th of uh, February. And in case you you thinking on joining us, uh, I must say that you are still on time, okay? Because they're going to uh, they're going to be two groups: one uh, Spanish speaking, and the other one other countries. English uh, it it will be in English, okay? So um, so there are still available seats in case you want to join us, okay, especially for uh, the group uh, in English, okay, mm -hmm. so uh, just in case you need a visa for this purpose, uh, just uh, contact us and uh, do it on time, okay, because as you may know, the visa takes some time, okay, and uh, it's going to be great. I mean, this uh, mm -hmm. trip is also uh, about our alumni day, which means that this is very big event for ISAM, okay, because we bring together all of our former students, our students who are enrolled at this moment, and as you may understand, this is a big possibility for networking, so you can expand your uh, network and, uh, you know, this experience uh, from previous editions, uh, our students like it very much. Gemma, <laughs> uh, anything to add? Lots of things, because that should be another session about <laughs> the Almeria model tree. Yeah, lots of information regarding this. Just like uh, specify that um, the reason because most of our students do an online program is like they don't have the time to come and do the face-to-face. -face. So in order to give them the, the option to interact a little bit more between themselves and other professionals in the sector, that's why we organize the, the trip. 
We call it Almeria Mother because this is where you are going to see an experience for four days. Um, if you have done some research about Almeria, uh, we are one of the biggest agricultural hubs in Europe and in the world. Uh, we base most of our production on greenhouses. Um, and I think like the most remarkable thing is like we are based in the middle of a desert, uh, the only desert in Europe. So we are very efficient on uh, terms of water management and uh, a lot of technologies being used on, on the greenhouses in terms of uh, uh, structure, machinery and so on. But it's not only about the greenhouses, which you are going to visit and see how is the production, it's everything surrounding the, the greenhouses, seeds companies, um, I don't know how to say it in English, Rigo <laughs> Porgoteo. Uh, irrigation yeah, yeah, yeah. companies. Irrigation. Exactly. Um, companies who build greenhouses. Then we go more inside the, the production side. So we visit different cooperatives in Almeria. Um, so the producer here, they um, uh, work within the cooperatives, uh, so they bring the, the products there and the cooperatives is the one uh, in charge of selling the product, trying to get the best price for, for the producer, distributing it, using like all the, um, how you say, like warehouses, um, tracks, um, the cold chains cannot be broken. So it has a lot of things also related to sustainability, food security and so on. So you are going to see all this uh, together. Then you will visit some companies only dedicated to innovation and technology in the agricultural sector. Uh, you will visit some research centers. Uh, I don't want to confirm it, um, but it looks like the, the research center for a uh, buyer that is opening now, uh, it's in the agenda. So hopefully we can confirm it very soon. Um, so yeah, it's a 360 view of the, of the um, agricultural system, let's say. And you not only visit the, the companies, but you do classes inside, you have some live lesson with our professors, and you have like plenty of opportunities to connect with uh, the rest of the students and professionals from the sector. So it is uh, totally worth it. We also do it every year. So we hope that all of you can join anytime soon. <laughs> okay. Anastasia, admission process. <laughs> yeah, the admission process. Uh, so the admission process is very easy. Okay, so the first step would be filling your personal details in our online platform. Okay, uh, once you do it, uh, there is also an application fee. Okay, uh, the next step would be to upload some documents such as uh, your CV, motivation letter, university degree, a scanned copy of your passport and also a picture of yourself. Okay. Once you do that, our admission committee meets, they review your document just to check everything is okay. Okay, because there are two ways to access this uh, MBA. One of the ways is uh, having previous studies at bachelor, bachelor's level. Okay, and the other way is to access. Uh, through the professional, relevant professional experience, okay? For the online program is at least uh, three years, okay? So the next step, as I said, our admission committee meets, they check your documents, and uh, once you admit it, we'll send you the admission letter, uh, which confirms that you are part of ISA, and then we'll ask you to confirm your seat for the intake you are enrolling in. Okay, and the last one is to study, study a lot and <laughs> meet new personalities, new people and enjoy the, the course. Exactly. Thanks, Anastasia. Well, here again, uh, just to say that because we are starting next week, probably this Friday will be the last round of, uh, of uh, the admissions committee reviewing applications. So uh, we would please, please, please ask you <laughs> if you feel prepared to join the program to do it during the this week and don't leave it for next one. Um, so we make everybody's life easier <laughs> for us at that mission, for you as a, having everything in place with uh, not needing to rush it. Um, so yeah, we are uh, almost there. Um, we don't have a date for the next intake yet. Um, so if you feel prepared, um, Next step is just like fill in your personal information, pay the application fee, and then the documents are 
I think are very few and it's ve very easy to, to have them. And uh, yes, this Friday we are uh, receiving the last students uh, to start next week. So um, yeah, I hope to see you all there. I see actually I have some confirmed students already, Juan Pablo, who is uh, coming for the, for the Spanish at the end. I hope so. If not, let me know. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I have a, a one, one question. The mm -hmm. professors are the, same, are the same for both programs in Spanish and English? Most of the time, yes. If some professor don't have like the English level that we require, we we change it for a different one, but always in the same level. Wow. Anyway, uh, the top professors, as uh, we call them, like the stars, no? <laughs> like if they were like rock stars, uh, they are bilingual. So like the big ones, as we mentioned, Isabel Cayuela, uh, Roberto Vega, and so on, they will be in both programs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Any questions? Um, the rest? I'm sorry, if I ask something you uh, said before, uh, when the program in Spanish uh, began? Uh, also on the 23rd of uh, November. So we are starting both groups in Spanish and English on the 23rd. Okay. And uh, what about the cost? I, I don't hear anything about the cost and I don't have that information. Perfect. So the tuition fee for both programs, it's uh, 6,500 euros. Um, there is a scholarship is still available uh, for 2,000 euros discount. So the tuition fee right now would be 4,500. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, it was you from Zamorano? Yes. Yeah, there is a, a little bit further discount for Zamorano, so for the agreement that we have with them. So we can talk about this uh, later, if you want okay. to. <laughs> yes, please, let me know. Perfect. <laughs> um, Anik, I don't know if you have any question, for example. <laughs> I think I asked most of my questions ready to Anastasia before. Perfect. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe you said last time there were like two starts in a year. So one is like the 23rd of November and when is the next one planned? Uh, we don't know yet. So usually we have mm -hmm. two to three intakes per year, uh, but um, we we never had the dates uh, beforehand. So when we finish the program, we sit down with a student, everything is rolling. It's uh, when uh, like the admissions team uh, sit down again and establish the next cohort intake. Um, we we actually we don't have anything confirmed yet, so I am I wasn't I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm sorry, Anik. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks. I will have uh, to leave now because I have to give a leadership course. Start sure, leadership, sure. So, <laughs> Thanks uh, a lot for joining but us. Thank you for the information. <laughs> Our you, pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Simon, I think that we have been talking to you on the phone, but I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't know if you heard me. Well, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I, I spoke with him. You yeah. spoke with him, right? Like uh, uh, his name rings a bell. Um, okay, Pablo, raise the hand. Yes, how can we help you? Yeah, please. I'd like to know if you have any financial program. In terms of uh, um, installments, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So when uh, the, the student is admitted, uh, together with the admission, we give like the budget and there you, they can choose three payment options. One is to make one payment so the student gets an extra 5% discount. It is possible to also do two payments uh, consecutives, uh, like one would be now in uh, November and the other one will be in January. And that's like a 2% extra discount or the student can make six monthly payments without interest. Okay, great, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, any more questions, the rest? All right. So I think that we can wrap up. Um, thank you, Anastasia, for doing this uh, amazing presentation. <laughs> thank you, Tlotlo, for helping us out and sharing your experience. Uh, I hope that that's uh, helpful for the rest. 
I find it very helpful because it's not the same that Anastasia and me talk from our experience in admissions, but it's always better that someone shares uh, their own experience as a student. <laughs> I think it's a little bit frozen. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's, uh, I think, uh, Toto, do you want to say something? No, no, thank you for the, <laughs> the chance and I, I wish you all the best. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks a lot. And uh, we hope to see the rest of you joining the program for uh, for this intake or our coming ones. And uh, both Anastasia and me are super happy to, to talk to you anytime if you have any questions. Have a yeah, nice... Sure. Uh, yeah. You can contact only just to add, you can contact us via email or on WhatsApp. So we are available these days. We will try to give you our undivided attention, but these days I've been busy. But uh, we will be happy to if, if you decide to join us on November 23rd. So, yeah, thank you for connecting and see you. Bye bye. Thank you, everybody.